All right, guys, so you're playing uh, some Udyr top lane in Season 13, and I'm going to teach you guys exactly on how you can play Udyr in this patch. So, in short, what we have is a very interesting setup. We have, uh, instead of Conquer, we got Little Tempo, we got Triumph, Alacrity, Alascent. We also have the Inspiration Tree, we got Biscuits for the, the mana, so we can spam W Born Lane. We also have Cosmic, which we're going to be abusing with the spells. We also have a deep blade into the Cassette. So I do have to note, we're going to go for the full AD on hit Udyr build. You guys probably know about it because I made plenty of videos about it. It's like one of the best Udyr builds. A little bit different from the meta build, but it's a really good one. Um, the only thing that I want to throw out, which I highly recommend to you guys. If you play Udyr top, play with Ghost. Like I got flashed this game by accident. I didn't meant to go flash. I wanted to have Ignite Ghost. So... That's the only thing that I would recommend outside of what I'm doing here. Alright, so um, the way how we're going to play this out is very simple. Kassente is a champ that works through short traits. He's going to be spamming Q on me all day from a close range. Um, if we play this properly, we will basically never take too much damage. Because every time I hit my W in his Q range, I will block the damage. And on top of that, I'm healing as well. So, and in case things go really bad, I can cast my Empower W. So we basically don't die in this matchup. There's not really a way to do it. Hmm. Oh, I tried sidestepping it. <laughs> Good trade. So, in terms of, like, um, the traits, it's actually very simple. Um, Udir, all you have to do is hit your E. You fight when the wave is in your favor, and then you're trying to hit your empowered Q. The Q does, like, insane amount of damage. If the traits go pretty bad, you can also use your W for the insane healing. You don't need to max your W for insane healing, either. You just gotta keep, like, one point in it. That's pretty much enough. And then every time you get your empowered ability back, you go back into the tray and you try and go for the old end. Pretty much that's it. Um, Udir's um, power spike is not necessarily the early game, but it's the moment you max Q and you get your first item, which is either the Trinity Force or it's the Blade. Whatever you're building. That's the biggest power spike. So keep that in mind. You're kind of like a scaling beast in the other game. Walk away from that. Got to make sure we don't get hit by it. We now have the wave in my favor. Hmm, we're getting a gank. Ah, he's ghosting away. Smart guy. He's uh, running ghost so he can outrun my fight. <laughs> Not bad, man. Not bad. Uh, that means he's got no flash. That's actually really good. Okay, let's go back here. So, first things first, we're going to be um, building the blade build. I'll specifically go for one longsword as well as attack speed for now. Wait, let me just grab this one too. Yeah, I need like a little, little bit more. This is really good because the wave is in this position here it's going to shove into me because the wave the the closer the wave is at the turret of the enemy opponent um the harder it's going to push towards you eventually as soon as the next wave arrives so of course in the the wave needs to be completely even that's currently what it is this is good for me because now i can play it safe and then once i have the wave under my tower we can then build the wave up again that's really good Of course, we're going to lose some of the CS. I can't really do anything about that because otherwise I'm going to take damage. Again, keep in mind, you got to see Udir more like a um, more like a scaling champ in lane than uh, a champ that can super snowball. 
You're basically playing similar to uh, like the Kale play style. You're just looking to scale. That's pretty much it. And once you have your first item, you basically won't be denied the entire game. You'll see. That's, that's like the difference between a jungle Udir as well and uh, as the um, top lane Udir. Yeah, missed that one. We're going to be maxing E after Q because I want to be able to have the, uh, the benefits of the E. We're snowballing. I don't care about the sustain on W because it's not enough already. I don't need more. An ally has been slain. I want to max E so I can snowball even harder. Okay. Mm. This guy's looking for fights. I kind of underestimate the damage from Cassenti himself here. My bad. He still has the R. Uh, he shouldn't die to him. Oh man, he actually died like that. I think that should be enough. Hmm. Okay. Whatever, dude. Alright. We got two plates. So, my jungler did die. However, it's not as bad as you think it is. Sure, it's um, <laughs> it's not helping my lane. You know, the fact that my jungle died. Sure, it's not. <laughs> I certainly won't deny it. But um, it's not as bad as you think it is. Because we got to shove the wave out. We got two plates. The wave is again. It's shoving into me, right? It's uh, getting into my favor again. So it's acceptable, you know. We didn't really gain a big lead out of it because uh, obviously my uh, jungle died. But we also didn't really lose anything. We managed to fix it by taking the plates and having the wave going back to me. Let's see, this guy's going for jack show build. There's a lot of people that hate Cassente at the moment. I don't understand why, bro. Like, the champ... I know that the Cassente at the moment is pretty strong. A lot of people hate him. But it's the, the matchup is perfectly playable for a lot of champions. Like, usually it comes down to just playing it uh, slowly. That's it. You pick a champ that can, that can beat him, like, as the game progresses. He's got some weaknesses too, so it's not, it's not like it's unplayable. Hmm. Let's see what Cassente is doing. Can't wait to get Blade, like, we're getting there slowly. I wish I had Ghost this game. Okay. In that case, he's not winning that anymore. Mm -hmm. Aha, I'm getting ganked. There's the problem. Uh, I can't afford to lose the wave here. Got him. He actually entered for those plates. It's not that bad because he got gold, but I'm 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 actually able to push the wave now. The only difference is I think he's got um I think he's got TP now. Okay, let's 
let's go back. If he does not have TP, then I then I actually get an even bigger advantage. Got my pickaxe. I think I might go for another... Nah. I was thinking about another longsword because it makes me win lane harder, but it also delays my power spike on, on, the, on the item. Because like I mentioned earlier, the sooner you buy Blade of the Rune King, the harder you win the, the, the game. Um, the same applies for Trinity Force too. The, the sooner you get the combination of Blade as well as Trinity Force, the harder you win the game. Like, those two items are so broken on Udyr. Oh, that lands. That's fine if it hits. Just heal up again. There you go. Problem solved. He might ghost away, I think. I wish I had ghost this game, dude. I wish I didn't fail the champion sec. The ghost was really crucial. Alright. We'll try and get another one. I need to get uh, 100 gold more. So all that needs to happen now is just not uh, shopping this way. That's it. I might go for another one. Is that? Let's grab this stuff. All right. I'd say at this point, I always say the same thing. It's the way it is. The game starts right now, like for Udyr, because now we have Blade. All right, let's go back. So, let's um, build Blade of Rune King. Um, since we don't have um, Ghost this game, I can't really go for Steel Caps. I need Swiftness. So we're going to build that. We're also going to go for one more attack speed. And this one. Um, usually, if I play Udi, I tend to go for Steel Caps very often. But since we don't have Ghost this game, by accident, I'm going to have to go for Swiftness because I need movement speed. These guys are lane swapping. Interesting. Really? He's pushing? There's no way. Uh-huh. Got you, bro. Hmm, didn't get rep off, but that's fine. The cycle Ooh, could this be a kill? Haha, <laughs> she walked the other way as I walk in this brush. How oh, Akram is up here. I need to get that red buff. That red buff is very crucial for me. And then we're going to go bottom again. For whatever reason, Cassante and their uh, their bot lanes, bot lanes have decided to, to swap lane. I don't know why. Because the Drake was up and they still did it anyway. I don't, I don't understand. I have no idea what they're doing. But um, it's not bad for me. It's actually really good. Because now I get to play bot lane. 
like at 60 minutes in the game going bottom with Udi is really good because no matter who you face you can kill them easily now wow unbelievable <laughs> I think Hecarim could be on the way. Gotta be careful. Hmm. This guy has no Zarya. bad for you, buddy. I don't even have Sheen yet, by the way. There, we got it. Six HP? Come on, man. The game is trolling me. The game is not being serious right here, right? Six HP. Come on, bro. Are you kidding me? Let's go for Sheen. <laughs> Come on, man. Look at this. 6 HP, bro. Come on. I would have had... Well, I, still, I think I could still buy it. Yeah, it would not have any made... Um, it would not have made any difference for me since I could still buy my item, luckily. But that's still annoying, bro. I think that my next item is going to be a Deadman's Blade, because again, I don't have Ghost, I need movement speed. He can chase if he wants. Oh yeah, we got a free kill already. Nice. Now, all I need is a blue buff. That would be awesome. Let's grab the turret. That will give me Trinity Force. Hmm. Okay, he's not going for it. Interesting. What's this guy doing? Oh, really? Oh, really? That sucks. <laughs> I flashed like into the Lux queue as I wanted to burst hacker him. Sometimes I use blue trinket so they auto attack it and then it gives me time. But it's not needed here. Okay, drag and dragon is alive and I'm pretty sure they're going for it and I think we're going to lose that one. Um let's go for this. I think something that would be insanely fun to do um, would be a um, Hydra. Hydra fits really well with the Trinity Blade build. Because you also gain a lot of... Uh, you gain a lot of AD from it. As well as the AoE damage is just insanely good on no deer. Um, but we don't have Ghost this game. That's, that's my only problem. We're missing Ghost. Not good. Hey Kawhi, thank you for the reset for two months. You're back on your laptop? Let's 
See you later, dude. <laughs> oh? You're walking away. There you go, we're healed up again. Any blue buff. Let's grab this one. The rap buff is also up. Okay, let's grab the rap buff real quick. And we also, <laughs> I know like, you, you probably some of you guys are like, what, what are you doing, bro? You're taking like the entire jungle, but, but believe me, what, believe me with this, like red buff, blue buff, Udir, I'm crushing the entire game if I have these two buffs. Trust me on that. Because blue buff allows me to spam everything forever and red buff, well, is a red buff, you guys know. Check this out. Grab this one. Maybe I can. Oh, that was taken already. Okay. This guy's called a Jack Show. That's why he's so strong. Well, not strong, but he's just being tanky. Let's see if I can get this camp. He was walking down here, yeah. Toward the camp. Where's this guy? Ah, that's where he is. I see. Sent this top again, chilling. We're chilling up here. I love blue buff when Udi did. Will he walk down here? I wonder. This Lux has actually gotten away like uh, multiple times, unfortunately. Your team has destroyed a turret. Mother bear. Cassandra is still top lane chilling. This guy's not really getting anything done. Let's grab this one. Luckily, my teammates are going down there already. Those Lux ultimates are super random. An enemy has been slain. Nice. Um, next item is Hydra. I want to go Hydra because, like I mentioned earlier, it helps a lot with the uh, AD stacking as well as AoE damage on Udir. It's a great item right now, especially if you're doing super well. Balling. <laughs> he burst it before he can even pop the ultimate out. Hmm. 
Nah, I don't have to force. We uh, we got the dragon spawning, so they have to walk up to us. Bro, I can't wait to get a Hydra, man. My car 6 is going for Drake. Nice. I need blue buff. It's spawning in one minute. Hecarim is like losing all these games since I'm stealing all those. So we're still making leads even though we're not getting kills. She missed her Q and Lux Q is like, I believe like a five or six second cooldown. So I could easily run up. Bro, what's going on here? This guy's strong? What? Yo, that Cassante is strong. What did I miss? Wow. I mean, I didn't really have my empowered ability. That's why he was able to wreck me almost like that. But still, I'm kind of impressed with like how strong he was there. Okay, let's go back. I can't really stay for more unless... Um, let's see. Hmm, I think they're gonna walk up here. Wow, that guy is strong. Hmm. Focus. I think Hecarim's gonna show up. Hmm, yeah, it's not gonna walk up to me, obviously. I need Hydra pretty badly. Time to get my item. It is time. I've been farming for Hydra for so long. Now I can actually buy it. Let's go. Yo, the real font's beginning now. Check this out. <laughs> Hello there, Cassante. Next. <laughs> I love this part of the game. Until there is balance, cannot surrender. Whoa. He's going into this. Oh no. Oh. Wow. 2.4k damage on the belly is. Man, that sucks. I got wrecked, bro. I underestimated Valius here for a sec. <laughs> I got wrecked. I think the something something happened while trying to go for the chase. I think a Valius flashed, I believe, because I sh I hit my empowered Q in the middle of the fight. I was in close range on the Valius, but I couldn't kill this guy. He's managed to walk out. 
Hey, Arcelicious, thank you for the resub 30 months. Welcome back, Arcelicious. This game might be a little bit harder than I thought. Just a little. I, I think it would have made a, a fair difference if I had Ghost instead of Flash. The game would be different. Got to stack up my Hydra in some way. But not now, the Drake is alive. Man, that guy has a lot of damage, bro. Unbelievable. That Lux is doing so much damage, dude. Wait, I want to heal up again. Hold on a second. Hmm. They're destroying mid. I think Lux is still up here. I hope that my teammates are not going to die as much here because I can actually get a playoff in bottom. Nice, they got kills. Hmm. Bro, can I move? <laughs> what? This Cassante is is <laughs> completely blocking me from getting to Lux. What do you mean? <laughs> this, I couldn't even get close, bro. The more I play against Cassente, the more I realize what kind of what kind of a stupid champ it is lately. It's he's got so much boss lately. Cause Cassente is like two and eight, he's not even that strong. He's got like three items and that's it. Wow. Oh man, Lux and Aphelis and Yumi, these three champs are... They are pain. These guys are annoying to deal with. I'm kind of considering going Mercs more and more now. Because I've got my Deadman's Blade. I'll get rid of it. Um, final item, I think. I want to go Thormil, but it's not as useful. Hmm. Thormill is not gonna fix that many things in this game. Alright. I might have to go Thormill in the end. Might still have to do it. Or we can go Frozen Heart, which also helps against uh, Felius a little bit. Just a little. Nah. Never mind. I'll go for this. <clears throat> I'll save the base. That's probably a locks up here. This is a hard game because um, Aphelius is basically full build. And my AD carry is basically three items. Uh, actually, not even th uh, three items. This guy has two items. There's the problem at the moment. Like two items versus full full build. It's it's a massive difference. But that's why we've been struggling. Hmm. 
maybe he walks up here. Okay. I don't know. This game seems to be unplayable. The only way we can play this out is by splitting all day. That works. You know, Udir is an absolute beast of a champ, but like, if if there is like such a difference in in the uh, in ADCs or something like that, like this massive, it's just unplayable. Uh, Twitch is level 14. This guy is level 18. I'll have to find a different way. I don't even want to go for Thormal anymore. See, seeing like what a Aphelios does, I don't even want to build it anymore because like the team fight is unplayable anyway. Let's go this. I'm not even going to go Thormal anymore. I'll, I'll build something else. I'll go Holebreaker. Anything other than this item. First we shove this and then we go probably bottom. Yep, they went Baron. Let me grab this uh, red buff real quick. Alright. What's Hackram doing? I wonder what this guy's doing. Alright, we're gonna try something out and I hope it's going to work. The enemy team is grouping for mid lane and they're trying to end the game. So what we're gonna try and do is prevent them from ending it. Let's go. This is going to be a risk we take. It's either going to go well or it's not. Hmm. Yeah, they, they win the game. Yep, they won. That sucks. They couldn't go for a team fight because we would lose it anyway. This is the best uh, chance we had. Hey, either way, this is Udir Top. Thanks so much for watching today's video. And I'll see you next time. Peace.